Two Tennessee lawmakers removed from the state legislature are vowing to continue their fight for gun reform. Their Republican colleagues ousted them yesterday because they joined protesters calling for stricter gun laws just days after the Nashville school shooting. Our Mark Strassman is outside the Tennessee state capitol. Mark, good morning. Good morning, Wendy. I tell you, this was a bruising moment in Tennessee politics. Never before has a Tennessee lawmaker, never mind two, been expelled on partisan grounds. But in this polarized country, the gloves are off. They walked in hand in hand as the Tennessee three. Only one walked out, still a lawmaker. Tennessee representatives Justin Jones, Gloria Johnson, and Justin Pearson addressed their colleagues in Nashville. But Americans all over were also watching. We shall not bow. I have to raise the voice of the people in my district. Our silence about gun violence is the antithesis of what is in the best interest of the people of the state of Tennessee. Power to the people. Here's why the three Democrats had their seats on the line. Last week's protest on the state house floor with a bullhorn. They were angry about the lack of debate over gun laws after the slaughter at Nashville's Covenant School last week. Just because you don't get your way, you can't come to the well, bring your friends, and throw a temper tantrum with an adolescent bullhorn. Outraged Republicans here have a supermajority, more than enough votes to expel the three Democrats. What is happening here today is a farce of democracy. Justin Jones defended himself first, today, defiant, passionate, and voted out. The jury I hereby declare Representative Justin Jones of the 57th Representative District expelled. Gloria Johnson went next, a former teacher who had a student die in a school shooting. It's the guns. It's the people that have the guns because we are not doing anything to make sure that people who are not safe don't have guns. The measure to expel Johnson failed by one vote. Finally, Representative Justin what. Pearson spoke. I don't personally want attention. What I want is attention on the issue of gun violence. But instead, we're here with the resolution you put up talking about expelling me for advocating for ending gun violence in the state of Tennessee. Pearson, like Jones, expelled. A state in which the Ku Klux Klan was founded is now attempting another power grab by silencing the two youngest black representatives. After the hearing, Johnson was asked why her seat was saved while the other two lawmakers lost theirs. It might have to do with the color of our skin. Allegations of racism were both part of the debate and the reaction after the vote. White Republicans expelled two lawmakers, both of them young black men. Both Jones and uh, Pearson could run for their seats again, but Wendy, the question in the minds of a lot of people here is, should they really have to? Mm -hmm, definitely. And Mark, is there any way to get this decision reversed? Uh, no, uh, there, there really isn't. I mean, at this point, the, 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 the legislature has voted. Um, and what they did was was in order, I mean, by the by the book, according to the way the legislature legislative rules are, are set. And at this point, you know, these these guys, the, the, their seats are empty for now. The local county commissions in their two districts will appoint someone to sit in those seats. And then the governor will eventually appoint a special election. And again, Jones and Pearson could run for those seats. But it, it, it's just been very convoluted and complicated. And right now there are thousands of Tennesseans who don't have uh, representation. And again, it's in the minds of a lot of people, this this has been a, a real stain uh, on the state just because of the racial dynamics involved and the and the optics of two lawmakers being told to to hit the road and both of them young black men. Mm -hmm. What is the process with the special elections? Again, it's up to the governor. I mean, at some point he's going to uh, he's going to uh, uh, set a date for those two in those two districts. Um, and already I can tell you that the fundraising has begun for those local Tennesseans, uh, local Tennessee Democrats have begun to fundraise for both Jones and Pearson because both men are likely to seek their their uh, the seats they were just told to leave uh, uh, yesterday. The debate was really, uh, I, I tell you, what, the debate was, was really memorable in, in a lot of ways, both for the way that the Republicans addressed the 
the unruliness of the of the three Democrats, but also in the way that the, 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 the both Pearson and Jones in particular talked about their history of discrimination inside the chamber, how they would try to say good morning to people and people wouldn't say good morning back. I mean, little sort of microaggressions like that. And then there were also uh, instances where they weren't allowed to talk in committees. And they really f felt time and time again as though they were suffering uh, not just as young freshman lawmakers in many instances, but also the, as though there was something more insidious at work. Right or wrong, uh, that is their perspective. And uh, that is certainly uh, something that was memorable as part of the discussion yesterday. Yeah, and what have you heard the reaction is there in Tennessee? Well, I mean, look, uh, sort of, you know, what you and I are talking about right now, I mean, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of surprise, people taken aback by the whole thing. Uh, it, it's, it's not a good look. Um, and it, it doesn't augur well for, uh, for where we are as a country, too. I mean, in, in red states like Tennessee, you have a, you have a super majority for Republicans. And, and in this case, you, in a red state, you had Republicans who took seats from uh, uh, two Democrats. Well, what if Democrats respond in blue states? What if they ha have a supermajority and decide to tell some Republicans to hit their up? That's, that's, that's not the way this, this traditionally has worked in this country. Uh, but the, the issue is, is that how, is, is this possibly another reverberation uh, of, the, of the partisan politics that define this age? And it's, it's, a, it's a divide between red and blue and Republican and Democrat that just keeps getting wider. We'll be watching. Mark, thank you.